All right, these rounds are pretty heavy. The one that's on the splitter now is a maple, cut down two or three years ago. Left it as a log since then, 10 to 12 feet long. And last week I cut this round off. And we're gonna cut it, and after it, we're gonna split it. After it's split, we'll check the moisture on it. All right, let's see what we get. Fire it up.
33%. So when that piece of wood comes in at 33%, let's see. Seven percent. Forty six percent. So on this piece, uh, forty three percent. So that was after being down for a couple of years as a log. And it took a round off it last week, and it's still in the 40s, 30s to 40s. So it takes, I guess, it takes it to be split before it really starts to season. Yeah, yeah, for these big logs, yeah. All right, we'll throw this in that. So I made a, uh, um, as you can see over here. Uh, a container to hold the, the, the split firewood just used in old pallets since I got those for nothing IBC totes around here in Orange County New York go for oh 50 60 dollars each that's way too much money just to use to store firewood so I get all the free pallets I want so I just split one apart and I use the uh, the big um, cross members at the bottom for the sides here for the four sides and the slats I just use to, to support here here and around the side I said it's all free I had the fence to stop a lot of fencing around and uh, ring nails I had around and I had to buy a box of screws so it was ten dollars for a box of 50 screws so that's about all I cost I'm probably gonna make another eight more so one of these containers holds about a face quarter wood so actually it holds a little bit more than a face cord. So that's why I'd like to get nine all together and I'll have three full cords. And I'll keep my firewood in these containers, which will be the odd pieces and the stuff that's a little punky. And I have, uh, I brought some of those white log bags and I'll use those if I decide to sell firewood, I'll put the good stuff in there to sell. Um, and I'll just keep the stuff that's punky and and the short rounds which are less than 16 inches i'll keep for myself all right we're going to try splitting this pine which we just cut down last week living pine and that is 26 inches across and we'll see how that splits well i think i forgot to push the record button anyway uh worked pretty good to split that pine no problems like the other logs the other logs had no issues this one had no issues but some modifications to make on this. Uh, let me see if this is in camera. Yep. So this, uh, this didn't hold up. I didn't think it would. Uh, what I'm gonna do is put threaded rod through here with a nut on each side and a washer. And it'll, it'll hold on to the back over here and it'll hold it up firm against there. The tables, uh, because I had space in here, the wood would get caught and push the tables, the wood table off. So I'll have to think about how to solve that problem. Probably just push the table all the way down to, to not have any seam here. Uh, moisture meter. Let's try that out. So this wood, like I said, we just cut last week. It was a live tree we cut down last week. And one round off of it just the other day. Here. One. Huh. So in this piece here, 25% for a pine. That's the pine. Let's try another piece. Let's try this. Eight percent, or nope, twenty-six. 
I thought it would be a lot better than that, considering it's fresh. This piece, 28% or 25%. That's it. So the splitter worked pretty good. I'm just going to make a couple more adjustments to it. As you can see, it was a pain in the ass to split the wood and it's stringing. And this extra back stuff that's on real cloth, you had to keep pulling it apart. So like I said, I'm going to put a threaded rod going through this to hold it on. All right. Thanks. Bye. So um, after using it to, to uh, split those big rounds, the other day a couple of adjustments had to make um, this is leftover three quarter inch plywood I used but the uh, the rounds when they were splitting were hitting the side and pushing the table off so I uh, cut a 45 degree angle here and this is three quarter inch uh, probably better off maybe with half inch or maybe five eighths this way it's just about even with the uh, the frame uh, we'll see how this works eventually I'll make something out of metal maybe rebar but I'm not quite sure what size I want yet other thing I did was a new block in the back over here because I forgot to uh, notch out the bottom where this end stop meets the uh, the bottom rail uh, back over here there's a weld and I forgot to notch it out so this block was not sitting flat against here and it split uh, so I put a new block on here. This block is new and I routed out the middle so the blade gets recessed and That's about it um, Another thing to mention it needs to be on level ground Otherwise, you'll have hydraulic oil shooting out of the breather valve here. What I might do is get a piece of pipe You know hollow pipe that will thread into here and just bring it up maybe uh, four or five inches uh, something like that Okay, thanks. Bye. Oh, and I forgot one other thing I did um, This is overkill, but this is all I had at the hardware store was a half-inch bolt So the bolt goes through the center Over here, I just drilled this out Let me See that I used a wood bit drilled this out here and the bolt head is back against this one and it goes through since this is open and I have this bolt this block of wood holding it holding this whole block tight instead of using a uh, um, large zip ties on this side I might do it on this side as well but right now there's no hollow opening um, I have to drill through the whole thing to put a bolt in I didn't want to do that just yet I'll see how these straps hold how they make out there okay that's it thanks bye